All right, boys, we are back with some more World of Warcraft. It is that time of the year. It is time for the new the new announcements for the changes coming, the new chapter for World of Warcraft, all the new stuff that's coming out. It's basically BlizzCon, which is awesome. That time of the year where you gotta love BlizzCon. I'm super excited. I'm hoping for, what I'm hoping for is a new class, this expansion. We haven't had one in a while. Uh, the last one we had was Demon Hunter, but I, I was hoping we'd get a new class in Shadowlands, like a Necromancer, because Shadowlands is about the undead stuff and whatnot, you know, necromancy stuff. It would have been really cool if we got a Necromancer. Hopefully, hopefully we get one. Maybe we'll get one in this announcement. I don't know. I would just like a new class in general. That would be pretty sweet. I would love to just have something new to play with and enjoy. I think it's going to be a huge miss to not get Necromancers because, I mean, look at this. Look how good this looks. I mean, I think Shadowlands is pretty sweet in my opinion. I don't think it was amazing, but I don't think it was as bad as some people think it was or as, or as bad as it was. The story wasn't great. But I think it was pretty cool, but I really like death and stuff like that, and, and uh, the mall, all that stuff. Torghast was great. I love Torghast, so I think it's a lot better than some people think it is, but that's my opinion. Oh, here we go, boys. I'm so excited. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go! Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's that time of year. Oh, man. All these cool trailers. These trailers are so good. Oh, so much. Oh, there's so much. So much. For the Alliance. For the Alliance. For the hood! Yeah! Let's go! Oh, BlizzCon! The next chapter. I can't wait. What are we getting? Starts now. For Get a variant! Here we go. The next chapter. Super excited. Let's go! Hi everyone, I'm John Height, General Manager for Warcraft. What's up, John? And with me today are my friends Ian Hazakostas, who is we got the Ian. Director of World of Warcraft, and Holly Longdale, who and we got Holly. Let's go! Wow, classic! I really appreciate you tuning in. I know we're really excited to be able to give you updates on what's they happening. They said Wow, classic, World right? Oh man! But first, I want to thank our community for all the feedback you've given us this year, and especially our community council. You've helped shape and influence. Wow Classic has been so good for me. I mean, really, for Shadowlands in particular, the story of the last nine months or so of, of this expansion is all about the community, and it's shaped by what we've been hearing from them. Yeah, I, I really think Shadowlands is a lot better than some people actually job, think it is. Uh, I mean, like sure I said, Torghast was great. A lot of people don't like so Torghast, but I like making my own builds, time. making my own character. Also, I really love stuff like that, so I really enjoy Torghast. You can make different builds and do different things. Like That's kind of sweet. Investment and mains so, I, I mean, I like a lot of stuff about Shadowlands, in my opinion. I don't think the story is amazing. I wish the story went a certain different way that I have in mind, but the story was okay. Hey, I guess. And we really built our Eternities and content update from the ground up around those principles. What are some of the things that the community said that, that influenced your decisions for Eternities in? Things like the method and pacing of acquisition of the Covenant legendary item. Look how good that looks. It looks so good. I love how like, um, I love how Shadowlands is all about sure like death and chains and edgy stuff. I don't know. I, I like that stuff. It's pretty cool to me. Eternities end and beyond. So, Wow Classic was yeah. really came about because of the community. Yeah, they continue to help guide and you, support you, us. You, as you, you, you think evolves. you think you do, but you don't. You, you think you think you do, but you don't. The world <laughs> and the players that inhabit it. I love that. I love and that line. We are in a lot of ways curators and caretakers mm -hmm. of that journey and of that experience. And so once this classic community formed TBC and grew, baby, we had to listen to them. 
It's the oh, TBC is so. Oh, I've been enjoying it. Been enjoying it. I can't wait for Wrath of the Lunch King. Wrath of the Lunch King uh, Classic is going to be the best. It's going to be so good. Is with our season of best Realm, expansion of ever. Ragnaros. We were talking about it like it was going to be like a fresh start. Let's try this experiment in a season. It'll be about a year long. And then when the oh found the out seasons about it, yeah uh, one thing that's really cool about the season of mastery yeah, stuff like the world of warcraft classic plus season stuff i i would like for them to do more things with that like more cool season stuff like faster leveling new stuff like adding more zones from other expansions like maybe do some retail stuff into that that'd be kind of cool in my opinion i think that'd be pretty sweet also make some more classes like uh change some of the classes make them more viable in raids because it's classic plus like who cares i mean it's not you're not messing with the classic game or the retail game it's its own season thing edition. that's going to end after what six months or so so i mean why not just do so some cool stuff with it buff one class so where it's really great one season and the next class next season you nerf it so i mean i don't know i think it'd be pretty sweet <laughs> Um, which is on, on a public test realm now as uh, a big <laughs> Ian, cross faction yep. <laughs> you're breaking with a 17 year tradition yeah, yep cross faction <laughs> alliance and horde you know, can I, finally I work areas, together really, we finally heart community feedback and requests and ask ourselves as a team whether there's a way to accommodate such an earnestly held desire and still feel like we're being true to the to the roots of the game you know, the players desire to play there it with is friends who might horde and alliance fractions. Or coming to together they more closely identify with even though their ray group is elsewhere it's really important for me i play a lot of alts and i love absorbing the story for each race and having that ability to play with all of my friends across factions is fantastic that's so good day, because now it doesn't matter if you're horde or alliance you can play horde. together which is it's so cool it's about, it's, it's, it's about time i think there's a way to preserve it's that, about that. damn well, time the ability to make the same choice we've seen the greatest heroes make time and time again. I can't wait to do this. I'm seeing a lot of my friends that I never knew had a max level character in the other faction suddenly come out of the woodwork. And then, you know, with these this, these cross faction groups, many of them are going to be diving into something new that we're doing to kind of cap off Shadowlands, a season four, uh, kind of a remix, a little bit, a bit of a greatest hits revisiting. Sounds good, uh, but it's about time, like. Expansion. I know Horde is way more popular than the alliances, the so therefore, and like Horde, Horde, Horde will be able to help out a, the alliance now, and oh, it's just it's so good. As you could bring in alliance in the raids. Next, alliance can bring in next. hordes in the raids. You, you could kill the same boss to working together. Really it's going to be so good. That's just really good, in my opinion. That's so cool. Give me and a chance to go back and play some of those those awesome raids. There's a lot to explore. Very exciting. For our next adventure in World of Warcraft, we're going to go back to Azeroth. We're going to leaving the Shadowlands. High fantasy. I mean, our fans of Azeroth for a long time. This has been kind of the foundation of much of the lore. Where are we going? Wow. So, without further ado, let's watch the cinematic. Oh, next expansion! Here we go. It's time. It's time. 10,000 years, imprisoned for 10,000 years. The world has been sundered. It cries out in pain. Actually, what, wouldn't Ilden be in prison right now, actually, we technically? <laughs> it was 10,000 years ago. We entrust our ancestral home to you, the Watchers. The Watchers. Man, this is so way back in time. This is so long ago. Let the land slumber. Hidden. Even from our own eyes. Hidden in a great dense mist. You will feel Ooh. the in the waking of the land. Then. You must light the beacon of tear hold, lest the path home be lost to us forever. All right, I'm pretty pumped. Oh, is it time for them to wake up? Ooh, 10,000 years later. 
he's waking up. It's time. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm guessing he's dead. It's been 10,000 years. The plants waken. The earth crumbles and shakes beneath my wake. It's time. Man, he is not looking so hot. Oh, it looks so good. It's time to bring it back together. Oh, that's... You're the only one left. The only one who can do it. You waited 10,000 years for this moment. Oh, he's not a quitter. He's not giving up. He's like, I'm gonna go put it together myself. Oh, oh, come on, man, you got this. You're the only one left. You waited 10,000 years for this. Yeah, you got this. You got this. Come on! Come on, you got it, man. Use those stone muscles! Hey, you died for a good cause. I salute you, my brother. You did it. F's in the chat. I salute you. Oh! Oh! Let's go! Is that Alex Straza? Let's go! The dragon aspects are here! Man, I actually thought he was dead. I was like, I was getting a little sad and I was saluting him. I was like, rest in peace, my man. But it, ah, he got saved. But her fate is yet uncertain. We're gonna get the Dragon Isles? Together, we shall be Azeroth's protectors once again. The dragon the, aspects are the back. New age of dragons shall begin. World of Warcraft, the dragon flights. Ooh, let's go! We're basically getting the dragon isles. The dragon aspects are coming dragons. back. Dragons, this dragons. So cool. No one saw it coming. <laughs> no one saw it coming. Carefully kept secret. But seriously, I mean, what did I'm we assuming it got there? leaked then. I haven't seen any of the leaks, of the so I don't know. The return of dragons, the dawn of a new age. Oh, yeah. We've seen Rathian searching for his father's legacy, searching for the Dragon Isles. There's a reason why he hasn't been able to find them until now. The beacon going off, is that summoning the dragons? It is removing the concealment that had hidden the Dragon Isles from the world, but also beckoning the dragons oh. back urgently. In a time of need. Oh, that's why no one could find the Dragon Isles. Oh, that makes sense. Yes. The Dragon Isles, as kind of standard for WoW expansion, consist of five zones, four standard leveling zones, and Ooh. a new starter zone that we'll get to in a second. Can you okay, tell okay, a bit about okay. How that's the pretty teams cool. Found ways to thread the dragon aspects throughout the environments. The, the Dragon Isles are a place that is lush and primal, bursting. Oh, it looks so energy, beautiful. As Azeroth herself reawakens those primal forces are expressed throughout the environment whether it's magma activity volcanic activity whether it's the icy wastes of the azure span 
and each one of those has a connection to oh, the man, it looks so before. beautiful it's be an amazing place for players to arrive at and explore all right you know i'm going to ask <laughs> yes okay can, so can, can, can i be a dragon let's, yeah, let, let, let's start getting into some features here and what dragon <gasps> flight means are we going to be able to turn into space. dragons um, so first off yes we have an all new playable race the Drac Theor race. Oh, uh, dragon a race! Dragon is a draconic <gasps> race, but dragons in, in Warcraft have the ability to take on oh. a human form. What classes can they be? They have unique abilities as literally a dragon. That doesn't quite fit any of our existing classes. And so what we're doing <gasps> new is, class? is not new just class? a new race, but it's also a new class. Oh, yeah, new, race new class, Warcraft, new race, race and new class. Lately. Let's go. But telling this expansion, this story so focused around dragons felt like the perfect time for it. So if you were Let's a dragon, you will be the evoker class. Drac the invoker evokers, class. Evokers can only be Drakthir. And the reason why only a Drakthir could be an evoker is that an evoker is really combining the ability to call upon the magic of the different aspects with the unique Okay, so the invokers the can the only be the dragon race. Do an Anixia style strafing. Oh, deep breath, that is so field, cool. On the other side, knock everyone back with a wing buffet. Nice. And magical abilities. Yes, please. <laughs> the evoker has Ooh. two specializations. They're a hybrid of either ranged DPS or healer. And they wear male Okay, armor. range DPS, figured, you know, healer, they wear male. Classes, classes over the years. We have oh, they can't be a tank, melee, though? Wait, dragons gross. can't tank? I... Also, oh, the black dragon flight, I guess, They're is mostly extinct, so... <laughs> exactly. This is definitely a oh, that class. sucks. And Come so on. That that, you know, like the Death Knights before them or Demon Hunters, they will be starting... Level 58, and then they're going to have a new starter zone. So they're going to have a slightly different journey into the Dragon Isles as opposed to the rest of us that are sailing there. From okay, other parts okay. Of Start at 58, new Can starting talk zone a for them. Bit about the customizations, like what is going to be able to identify my Drakthir character? Ooh. Basically anything. Man, the Dran, the Drakthir. Oh, oh, jewelry, oh, tattoos, other oh you that's so cool. The expression of, of your identity in Azeroth. Oh, they have two forms. New they have class. a human form yep. and a dragon Race. form. That is awesome. But they're like wargans. Yeah. So, of course, a new expansion brings with it, you know, new systems, new features. And I think in recent expansions, one of the things we've tended to do is really have these deep features that were closely tied to a specific expansion that would then get left behind as we moved on. Mm -hmm. And we've heard loud and clear from players that, mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of a bummer to start off every new expansion by leaving a large part of your character behind. True, progression true. Behind. So this time around, what we're doing is really pouring all of our energy into permanent revamps, overhauls, and improvements to World of Warcraft's core systems. Okay, Things that's like awesome. That's good news, good systems. news. In this case, our talent system is something that we want to completely revamp. We want to take <gasps> a look at our UI. They're changing the talent the system? So with the talent wait, the, revamp wait, and what? the arrival of Classic, did you learn anything about how- Oh my God. <gasps> We're getting the old talent system back. Play with please, those please, work please, those please. It really underscored some of the things that, frankly, we lost mm -hmm. when we shifted <gasps> to the Mists of <gasps> style talents <gasps> and beyond. A big piece of that was some of just the granularity, the feeling of getting a level and spending a point to customize And spending a point to increase. A bit oh, my God, we're getting, we're getting the old talent but system back. We're getting the old talent system back. That sense of hybridity that you could have. That's something that we've largely lost. And so the new talent system avoids directly pitting Ooh! player power oh group of choices God. directly against those oh my God. choices because we know that oh the boys my are God. Out. And we also understand yes, yes, that you yes, know, yes, there's yes, a lot of yes, strength yes, and yes. flexibility of the modern talent system to let players customize their talents for particular encounters. Yes, encounter I'm so glad you guys understand that now. Yes, 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 that. yes. So I love that. That's one of the main reasons oh why God. I love Classic is because <laughs> yes, of the old talent the system. I feel like the old talent system allowed you to do really cool map, ideas oh, and do here, like really special builds. Oh my God, they're bringing it back. Like they're bringing that. it back. So you, you, oh my God, I'm so happy. Incremental changes and additions over the years. But really, this is a revamp. This is an overhaul. And so yes, we're excited yes. to really And then every level you get a point and then you can spend a origins. point. It made every level uh, rewarding you know, because you got time, slightly stronger the, every time. Power user customization there. Oh my player. god, I'm so happy. I'm so you happy. Want a much better default out of the box experience for all players, new and old alike. And can I reduce elements, remove elements? If I want to explore the world and, and see the beauty oh, of Ezra. Oh my god, the dragon race looks as so as cool. Let players choose what to show and what to hide so that they can control it themselves. And you mentioned professions. 
I have a critical question about this. All right, professions. Can I wear a chef's hat? Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Our approach to professions in Dragonflight is really all about delivering on fantasy and identity as a crafter. And so if you want to be a serious blacksmith, Ooh, if you want to be a look serious at that backpack. Worker, we want to deliver the ability to invest oh, whoa. Hello. Time and energy into that, become a master crafter, be able to make items that are in demand, interact with the community. One of the big pieces that we want to do to support that is a new work order system to have a bit more convenience work than order. Just trade chat all day. But if you are someone, you're not yourself a blacksmith, but you have a bunch of mats and you want them forged into a great sword, you can put that work order up, list your mats, offer a commission, and a skilled blacksmith can come along and make you the weapon of your dreams. Oh, that is go. awesome. Be a drag there, go to Dragon Isles. Can I have a dragon? Uh, What's the fantasy of dragons, if not soaring over? Oh, lands? we're gonna get dragons. Oh so my really God, that looks so, oh, they can do barrel rolls? Oh my riding. God, it's that looks so good. With, you know, everything from momentum to- We're gonna get to bombs, ride dragons. The ability to, you know, oh, look at that, look at that. Speed up and feel the world rushing past oh. you in a way that should be much more exciting. That looks than so cool. That it made available in the past, but that's also available for players through a customizable dragon mount, Right from the Customizable start. So, dragon mount from the start? This is a skill you learn over what? time, right? To become an awesome dragon rider. Yes, you'll be able to sort of oh. upgrade aspects of your flight, but you will have this. Oh, that is so cool. And the dragon companion that you have is, of course, very thoroughly oh, customizable. Oh, okay, a new, okay. A new thing for us for mounts. This is not just a generic dragon that everyone has, but a drake that is yours. You know, what, what do you want its scales to look like, horns, the shape of its head, other attachments, armor pieces, and more. You can right. fully so customize so your dragon. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so the dragon what? flight expansion is going to see players. That's so awesome. It's your own so made mount. You can, like, make it however mounts. you want it zones, so it's special just to you. Zones, and a new starter Ooh. zone for our Drakthir class, as well as a range of systems. The Drakthir, so that is awesome. Oh, the new talent system, system looks so good. An entirely fresh look at professions with more depth than ever before. Also getting around the Dragon Isles is gonna come in the form of dragon riding, which lets you customize and upgrade your own oh, mount so that you can that fly looks in a so sense cool. from the start. And of course, as with any new expansion, we have a new set of dungeons, a raid, and much more. New dungeons, raid, we, we get a dragon that will be able to customize future, completely as well as a new race and class science. on top of that. To help us test out oh my play, give God. Us back to make it better. We do have a deep dive that follows this. So please stay around. Classic players, we haven't forgotten about you. You could probably guess where we're gonna go next. One of the all time favorite expansions yep. of World of Warcraft. Let's watch the cinematic. The all time favorite expansion of World of Warcraft. Classic Wrath of the Ledge King. Let's go! It's here, baby. It's here, baby. The best expansion. Let's go. Oh, that looks so cool. My son. <gasps> Frostborn. The very forests of Lordaeron. Uh, what? The name. Oh. <laughs> Arthas. Oh, the true king, the Lich King. Let's go. When my days have come to an end. You shall be king. Oh, oh, oh. classic adventure continues. Twenty twenty. I thought I was gonna say three. I was gonna go no, but 2022. Let's go! It's this year. Oh my! I thought I was gonna say three. I was about to go no. It's just incredible, <laughs> isn't it? Every time I see the cinematic, I get chills. No pun intended. Oh I do. Like, yeah, it's the best you feeling saw, ever. Wrath of the Lich King Classic is coming this year. It brings back so many memories. Let's go! When you see that cinematic, what do you remember from Wrath of the Lich King? Anytime you want to talk about undead frozen dragons, how can you not go back to Sindragosa as the source? Sindragosa. expansion I played with my youngest son. Mm -hmm. So 
I can remember on that platform, black goo and, you know, chunks of ice falling off and, and having to repeat <laughs> that battle with the Lich King. But when we finally downed him, it was such an incredible oh, He jumped oh. up out of his room and I jumped up out of my oh. office. We're like, yeah! Good times, good times. So it's a very lasting tale for me. Mm -hmm. So as you know, with this expansion, you will, in pre-patch, be able to play the Death Knight. They will start at level 5. Hell yeah! You don't have to have a high level character to make a Death Knight. So everyone will be able to make one. Oh, everybody can make a Death Knight right off the bat. Let's go! To get geared up and ready to jump in to Northrend with everybody else. And there awesome. are so many zones and areas to explore. Look at that. It looks North beautiful. Northrend. Oh. About some of our favorites. So for me, Grizzly Hills has a very special place in my heart. The music was some Grizzly of the best Hills is actually pretty good. Pretty World good. Warcraft. I still make my way all the way up to Storm Peaks to try and find the Time Lost Proto Drake and have yet to get it. I've got to say, Dragon Blight. The, the wide open nature of the zone, Wormrest Temple in the center so of it. So good. Look at how good that looks. As both a developer and a player, and kind of making that transition from one to the other. Now let's talk about some changes. So one thing we looked at is Dungeon Finder, and it feels like how we envision Classic, Dungeon Finder is not a good fit for our community. That was kind of the first step uh, what, that made uh, what, wait, the what? social fabric. Now, as, as what? people have gone through the experience of going back to vanilla, mm -hmm. rebuilding those groups, relying on each other, not wanting necessarily a random participant just to show uh, up and then leave. Uh, yeah, that makes total sense. But today, you can do that in Shadowlands. You'll be able to do that in Dragonflight. It's a self-selected group of people who specifically want that different experience. Yes. Let's make sure I... that's what That leads right into arena teams in Burning Crusade Classic. Wait, so they're so removing the Dungeon Finder really from is Classic? Te Wait, is from Classic uh, Wrath of the Lynch King? experience for them than arena teams. That's so also, dumb. With Wrath that's of the Lynch so King, dumb. Shop which allows you to customize your character. We're going to be adding a few more options that were not existing when Wrath launched, but also there's another side of this where we are not gonna charge a real money fee. It was a paid character customization fee, right? Yeah. It seems the right thing to do that that just be available in game for gold and we add more options to it, right? It's sort of like spell batching in a sense. There's a lot of technical advancements. And okay, it's that's pretty cool. What makes classic classic and mm -hmm. what brings people together. It's just what's the better experience and let's not artificially restrict something that we can provide a better version of just for the sake of nostalgia. And this is, we're happy to say this is one of those cases. So Wrath. The level caps being increased to level 80, so we'll be But why are we removing boost, Dungeon so Finder? Nobody does dungeons right now as it is anyways. No one does dungeons. They get boosted by a major of Paladin. Like, and of course, we have <laughs> no one's doing dungeons anyways. So we're really excited about that. Yeah, and as we continue this road to Wrath, we're going to be looking to getting a lot more feedback on beta. And we'll make sure <sighs> Such an exciting time. To At be least put World Dungeon Warcraft. Finder for the yeah, lower sure dungeons. Like, don't let it be Wrath dungeons, but do the lower fans. ones at and least, so we don't have to pay mages and paladins to keep so boosting us. Because that's all we're going to do in Wrath of the Lich King. It's such a dumb idea. That's so dumb. spending this time with us, and we'll see you in Azeroth. That's so dumb. And in the Dragon Isles. Ugh, we're, we're removing Dungeon Finder and Wrath Classic. Great. Awesome. Hi there. Welcome at least keep it for the low dive. levels. I'm like, uh, and I'm Taryn Gregory. I don't like that idea. I don't like that idea because we're still only going to be using mages and paladins to boost us, uh, which is all we're doing in TBC as it is anyway. So let's talk about the setting uh, for Dragonflight. So Dragon annoying. Isles. Dragon Isles have been known for a long time in Warcraft history as a mysterious place where the dragons came from long ago, but we never knew much more than that. We're going to this place that is kind of the broodlands. The Dragon the Isles, the baby. The place where they nested, where they built their civilization. The Dragon Isles was the center of the dragon's kingdom when the such world a was big young map. and the mortal races <laughs> were just starting to form kingdoms of their own. But when the Legion invaded, for that War of the Ancients, that sundering that resulted from the, the explosion of the Well of Eternity. Literal the world. Literal sundering. Ripped it in pieces. Man, Azeroth. imagine if and we had the, of the, world, the whole world brought back together. Away, that would be dormant. so, so awesome. You don't need boats and loading screens. You just go to wherever you want to go. Titan Watchers to look over the land. And when 
Someday, they hoped that elemental energy would resurge once again and draw the dragons home, reestablish their kingdom. And that's when the message goes out to the flights and they feel it in their bones. Now it's the time for the sky to light up with the colors of the aspects once again and for Alex Straza and the others to come home. But the land has changed a lot in all these thousands of years they've been away and some very old threats have awakened as well. Yeah, it's been 10,000 years. I would hope that quite a bit has changed. <laughs> It's been a long in time. The past, the early history of Azeroth. They were much more primitive, much more savage. What we now know oh, is the dragons. And then some the of the dragons. The king of all dragons. The what was his name? Uh, Galagron? I think his name was Galagron. The biggest of all dragons. Each with the ability to protect the world in different ways. These pillars of draconic power appointed to defend Azeroth from threats within and without. The dragons used that power both for good in the case of most of the Azeroth. Aspects, but also for nefarious reasons in the case of the Black Death Dragon Wing. Flight led by Neltharion, who would become Deathwing. And what we will find in Dragonflight Good old is Death that Wing. some Good of old these Death ancient Wing. divisions run deep. And so it begs the question, where do we go from here? If this is an opportunity to reclaim their legacy, to be the protectors, as the cinematic mentioned, that they once were. To do that, they're going to need the help of our heroes, our players, to come to the Dragon Isles with them and face some of these reawakening challenges because All right, it's not just that this who are we gonna land face? is peacefully face? waiting dragons? for the dragons to return and reclaim it. There's those old enemies that have awakened as well. Yeah. One of those being a race of kind of elemental half giants, the Jaradin. The Dragon Isles isn't the just Jaredin. by dragons or Ooh. just by the Jaradin. There's also many other occupants here in the Dragon Isles that have been here either just recently or for a while, including a fan favorite coming back, the Ooh. Tuscar. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> the got Tuscar, other they're coming back. Let's well go. The <laughs> We're going to find out about the civilization of centaurs that predates the ones that oh, arose on Calendor later. Sweet. And some of our favorite characters that we've seen over the last few expansions, such as Rathian. And whether he's ready to step up Raffian, let's go or if there are other alternatives out there that oh Raffian, he looks he looks so cool look at him he looks so Dragon good Dragon. i think one thing the players are going to be really excited about this expansion is the new playable race the drac fear the drac right. fear this is something that nelfarian which also is a new class as well that's going to be sweet i can't wait that he put into motion nelfarian saw those primalists that were kind of breaking away from the aspects and what they wanted. Mm -hmm. And so in those first experiments, he took the essence of dragons, their strength, their nobility, their wisdom, and he combined it with that scrappiness, that, that adaptability that the mortal races had. And he wanted to use that to create the ideal soldier in his mind, the Drakthir. Oh, okay, Exploration interesting. Exploration really one of the key themes of this expansion. You're, we're going to be going to this ancient place. So Deathwing actually made ago, the Drakthir. That's huge cool. Huge zones with all kinds of places to delve into and oh, find it looks so good. It looks, look at this. Look how good away. this looks. It's going to be a lot of fun for players to be exploring these landscapes. And there's so much architectural history and how clearly aspirational Ooh. as the Ooh. kingdom of the dragons and how it lost so much. And the themes of trying to return to that, to try to find your legacy, to try to figure out who you were before everything went awry. Man, you just gotta love the dragon, the you dragon know, aspects, you gotta love them, especially the, like the middle two, legacy, like Outstraza and Ysera. The the Beautiful. Past. The dragons have had to learn those lessons just like the mortal <laughs> kingdoms have had to. And I think that's one of the reasons Beautiful. why the dragons see this now as the time that they have to return and they have to step up once again as protectors of Azeroth. We're helping the dragons because the dragons have helped us in the past too so by using the explorers league and the relic yeah didn't they together, uh, give up their like um power or something and when i look if i remember know, right they gave up like the their like eternal life or something like that i don't I remember so excited for the prospect of a truly azerothian adventure alongside calicos along with rathian ebonhorn uh, rathian uh, calicos oh my god it's gonna be so good find their own flights
I am taken uh -huh. by the exploration and the potential for adventure and just new horizons within this world. There's going to be that, that class from looks that time so good. Past, that class that looks like you can like cast and move, move which is insane. If you can really move around like and cast and fly like that, so that's going to turn oh, things over to some of our colleagues. That's so we'll cool. Take you on that deep dive into the locations that's gonna be and the features of Dragonflight. Oh. Hello, I'm Stephanie. I'm Josh. I'm Jackie. And I'm Gary. And we're part of the teams that are building the first two zones, the Encounter and the Dragon Isles, the Waking Shore, and the Onaran The first Plains. two zones, huh? The very first zone oh. in Dragonflight you're going to come to is the Waking Shores. I kind of want to know more. It's untamed land. It's waking up around you, I don't too, really want to know too much about crazy. the zones the because I, I, I don't want to be spoiled. I want to kind of like... like a lava mountain flowing in through the beach. Giant that looks pretty cool. Giant swooping down, gobbling up members of your expedition. We have such ripe oh, opportunities man. to show elementals rising up because of the crazy... I don't want to spoil around. myself. The one of the things I love is just how you get to the Dragon Isles, mm -hmm. right? So you're going to get on your boat in Stormwind or Arkhamar there, too, which is fun. So we're going to take the ground. boat to there, huh? What can the future of the Dragonflight be if it's just Rathian? Because it's not just the dragons that are coming back to the Dragon Island. Right, I, I don't want to spoil myself on that because I actually want to see the zones for myself in game and experience the story. So we're going to skip We're going to skip that part. We're going to go to this one. Hello, everyone. My name is Kate. I'm Christy. I'm Kate. I'm Sean. We're going to oh, talk we have today about Valgrasses here? and the Azure Span. Mm -hmm. So Azure Span is going to be the third zone that players adventure through. Oh, no, I don't want to see the zones. zones uh, more in zones. Fight, maybe even to date. We knew it was going to be like the largest visual elevator for kids. So we're going to fight Cute alongside them, which includes help from a certain group of dragons, the Blue Dragons. We're going to follow blue the dragon story flight. of Calagos, Calagos. Our blue dragon buddy from the Kirin Tor, and he's going to be adventuring into Syndragos' archives. It's a giant zone. There's a lot of surprises. When we're done there, we head over to Aldrazis. No, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I, I don't want to spoil myself on it. I want to like experience it for myself. All right. Hi, I'm Jake. I'm Andy. I'm Kali. And I'm Graham. And I'm really excited to talk to you guys today about the Drakthir Evoker. Drakthir and the Evoker class. class. Dragonflight. We're here to talk about not only the Evoker, but also dragon riding, which is our exciting expression dragon into riding. the exploration of the Dragon Isles. We knew with a dragon themed expansion, we wanted to let you play a dragon. Not a big dragon, Alex draws a size. That'd be tough to fit into raids. I'm sorry, Jake. Okay. I know, I know. <laughs> fine. But a dragon. It would have been pretty so sweet, the though. Here, created by Neltharion. Oh, and look at that. That's like so our other cool. Hero classes, you get We're to getting dragon classes. That is just, creation. that is awesome. So that is so awesome. The, evoker, the class they can be. What's unique about it is because the, the Drakthir are created by an aspect, they have the ability to wield the magic of all five dragon flights. So evokers can take advantage of red magic and blue magic and bronze magic. And to show that, we created a visual, what we call a prismatic effect. This prismatic effect is basically the coalescence of all their energy I as feel they channel like, um... it into whatever spell that they're going to cast. You have a red magic spell called Pyre. So when you shoot it out of your mouth, it oh, twirls in the so air cool. with all five It actually comes out of their mouth it turns too. Into the red spell before landing on oh. your enemies and exploding and hopefully burning them. That is so <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Getting that vibe across that they use all five was really important to us, but we did want to make sure that each specialization focused on two cuz casting five different colors gets a bit messy. So their damage I feel like um, their first you should two. have like the Mostly blue flight magic red and, and the magic. red flight red magic should be more caster like and then you got the green flight one like out uh, by you like a yasera that'll be more healing one one like right and then you can have like the, the uh, like a dark earth version that's more tank like and you have that but there's not really a black dragon flight anymore so your growth and your nurturing spells and then you have your bronze magic, which is going to be more timey wimey. So you get to oh yeah, see that, that's what I was saying. Yeah, so in addition to that, the that's visuals, what I was saying. The animation, which I'll make you feel very powerful. We really wanted the player to have a physical connection to the cast. We have a new type of spell called empower, where when you actually hold empower. down the button on your keyboard, it charges up a spell. 
The longer you charge it up, it might do more damage or hit more targets depending on the spell. Ooh. But it gives you this really physical connection and control that's new for World of Warcraft and I think is feeling really, really good. We have some great animations. Oh, that's Thank pretty you, cool, Andy. actually. You feel physical when you're casting your spells. You can actually so you can charge it up. cast while you're flying. Rain you can fire, move and cast? It's great. Oh my god. In addition to the gameplay, though, another part of that is crazy. Iconic that is, is so like crazy. That's going to be so strong. Fire, but you know what's <laughs> Fire. What's actually these fire? customizations? Oh my goodness. Hey. Oh. Well, no, they're really, really. They're that was awesome. pretty good. That was pretty good. Because you have both your draconic form Ooh. and your humanoid form, and oh. the customization options for both of them are. Oh my god! You could be good. like pure what about white. Color? Just tell yeah, me. Tell us about the color. The color. You can do a lot of matching. Oh, that is so cool. Your form oh. can have scales that are the same color as your Dr. Oh, form. the eyes! Uh, my favorite, oh my super god! Favorite part of customization for the visage form, mm -hmm. hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Because I can actually do this in game. In game yeah. The tech is here. Oh, you can like <laughs> double layer your hair. Ooh. As players Ooh. make their way through each of the areas of the Dragon Isles, they'll partner up is, with the Dragon Isles. That is so cool. That is so cool. They've never done before. You'll notice I did not say flying because <laughs> flight has a very specific meaning for World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. And, and we're talking about something new called dragon riding. And as oh. the players so are holding their dragon So you won't fly in the, the new the zone in the Dragon Isles. You'll have dragon flight. Look and feel of the Drakes. That We're aiming so to cool. shake up movement with this new system, providing players with a deeper immersion with forces like momentum and gravity. We knew that for dragon flight, we were going to have the opportunity to show players a whole new set of Dragon Isle Drakes, completely unique from all the other things they've seen in World of Warcraft. And so we wanted to come up with a movement system. Man, that is that so interesting. That sense of physics, If you could barrel gravity, roll, like, you were like I wonder we knew it was gonna if there's going to be like combat, like air to air combat. That'd be kind of cool if you could do like barrel rolls and stuff. The engineering team who That'd be pretty we sweet. rely on heavily. And that combined with some new animations really helps. I wonder what happens if you run into like a wall. Like, what if you run into that wall right there? That before. And the icing on the cake is going to be some really cool effects that we've added on top of all of that. So for example, when you start hitting, you know, maximum velocity, you're going to see contrails coming off the edges of the wings. That and then so as you do your rolls cool. and spirals, you build up more and more speed. There's going to be some screen effects on the display to indicate that you're And you can build up speed velocity, and fly which faster? Which really adds what? to the overall kind of immersion and sense of reality. As players make That's their way awesome. through the Dragon That's Isles, awesome. they'll discover new cosmetic options to fine-tune their Dragon Isle Drake's appearances. Things like snoots, horns, tails. Oh, that one looks so Dragon cool. Isle Drake oh! Armor Can I have spikes? Definitely. Okay. We want to provide players with all new skills to play with, as those who can use their momentum well can reach higher and higher heights and bring on new, more difficult challenges. We just have so many new gorgeous options There's so to much. choose from. There's so much to I'm this. So this is so them. awesome. I'm excited for the whole thing. I mean, it's been a lot of fun to work on, but I can't wait to actually get in the game. Play oh, with me you too. Guys. Me too. I can't, wait. I can't wait to fly around Dragon Isle. Me so too. Great. Next up, you're going to hear about the talent revamp and the UI changes coming in Dragon Isle. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The UI changes are cool, but the talent changes going back to Hello, classic my name is Brian. versions. I'm Crash. I'm well, I really and I'm Laura. like. Laura's very hair. Excited to wow, share. So that looks really good. Uh, but we, if we could go back to the old talent system, I, I have a big gonna, question I, for you. How long do you I'm think so it took excited. for us to finally revamp the WoW HUD? My guess is like 15 years. Close, 18 years. 18 years. 18 years. Wow. You know, technology has changed a lot since we made the UI back in 2004. Now you have like bigger monitors. Has it been like 18 us, years? It's been a long time. With. So it makes sense. It's been a to long have time. Right also, if you look at the game today, the art evolved beautifully over the years. And if you look at the HUD, the HUD looks like it got frozen in time. Yeah, so when we approach definitely this, we a little, it definitely shows it's a, a little dated. experience that players could customize, move things around, adjust it to fit their needs. Add-ons okay. today, they do a lot for player customization. The True. downside is, is that not everybody uses them. It's about time True. that everybody has the opportunity to use them, that they become a part of the base UI. Yeah, and we are working very closely Ooh. with our user research team to make sure we are hitting the goals that our player needs. It allowed us to add new functionality to improve accessibility in a lot of areas and 
On top of that, I want to I wanna see it. I want to see art. it. Yeah, so the art update, it's a big part of this project. Improving the Think art. Why that we okay. Have today has a lot of charm and personality. Interesting. And have been using that for 18 years. So, with that in mind, we want to respect the place. We really like the Come on. UI, but do a more than take Come it. Come on, you got to show it. the clutter and give it more visibility for your gameplay. So the new minimap, it looks bigger. Ooh. And the health bar is also much bigger. Ooh. If you look at the action oh. bars in the bottom menus, they have less head frames. And Interesting. you can really open up your gameplay. So you don't have a lot of your UI in front of you. And of course, okay, we want to find sweet. iconic pieces from the current HUD, but we want to bring it back in a nice way. So we for sure updated in the Griffins. They look so nice now. And the Horde, don't worry, we got you. You're gonna have your version as well. So let's oh, talk about the edit mode. Oh, that's we awesome! We are putting a mode in that will let players move various HUD elements around on the screen. So I'm able to move okay. the mini map, say, from the right corner all the way over to the left corner. Or if I want to bring my action bars from the bottom and kind of put them more Ooh. in the center by my character, those are all things that I'll be able to do. Absolutely. And each of those oh, different that's components awesome. will have various sets of options that you'll be able to work. You with. don't need add-ons for that. Be able to awesome. save it, edit it, copy it, name it. Also, well, you could say, it'll remember what? which spec you're in. So if you're someone who jumps around a lot, as you switch, it will switch to whatever HUD layout you have for that spec. This is an ongoing project. We're going to keep working on it. All right, that's it. pretty so sweet, actually. Really I think that's pretty cool. Him. A project that we're all excited about that we've been collaborating a lot on is something that's pretty UI intensive, and that's the talent system. It hadn't changed in a long time, like you said before. And we really started with, how can we have players have more choice over what their character has? As you I agree. Up, I mean, I think that's pretty cool. I think the changes ability, to the UI, being able to move things stronger, around to how you want it, is actually going to be pretty sweet, in my order. opinion. Yeah, we started looking for a system that would give players a much wider set of options. And after looking Smart. at all those things, what we really returned back to was the idea of trees. But it's actually two trees. Oh, we have a class tree that, that looks different so class good. Utility, and then we have a spec oh. tree that is focused on performing oh, your wait, role, what? whether that's damage tank or healing. Wait. Can I just jump in and say that I oh. personally am super excited about having trees come back. There's a yes. big nostalgia hit for me. Yes. As you said, we have these two trees because we feel like picking a specialization is a really important part of your World of Warcraft Oh, character. yes. So I'm so glad they understand sure this. I'm so that, glad we're getting talent trees, trees back. Yeah, as soon as you open your talent tree, you'll see something new. The class side will have some abilities filled out for free, just kind of starting you off in that spec you've chosen. But then you'll have your first point to spend in the class tree, which could be something related to that Interesting. So you have a class tree, tree and then a spec the tree. There's so you have two of, different uh, trees. That, here, and that, is that is so cool. To perhaps make combinations that they've never really been able to see in the game before. Exactly. That's why I like talent trees. You get to make combinations in the, in the game that you UI probably wouldn't ever think of you or have see. Seen that a lot oh, that is so cool. Expansions, but not the base UI. We want you to be able to tinker with it. You know, yes. we want you to Tell be able to make back. a lot of I'm changes so happy. at a lot of times and oh. not necessarily have to commit. Oh. The power really is coming back to the player. Yes. Uh, it's not something we yes. want people to feel locked into. And so one of the things that we'll be preserving is the ability to change these talents uh, at the same kind of frequency that you do now. Yeah, the old school Awesome. Players, you don't need to pay for a respec. Time, That's cool. Just think, yeah, I'll, I'll go from my raid night to my arena match and figure out what I think is the best for both of those. And that's a process yes. we want to make really fluid. So we're building a save load feature that lets you oh, create your build, you build, save your name it, save it, and then oh load my. it up That's so awesome. Freely. That's awesome. Talents are really about the breadth of options. So We've awesome. made all these different cool things over the years, but when are they I'm at their so coolest? I'm so happy. It's when players can hold the building blocks of what can make up their class, their spec, and put them together in a way that works for them. So these are really cool features that we've been working long and hard on, and we're very excited about them. And it's just an early preview. Oh of the things my we've been God, doing. that's so we can't cool! Wait to see the reaction that you have to them. And my reaction is right here. It's awesome. I love it. I love up, the talent talk revamp. Bringing back the flight. old talent system. I love it. Profession revamp. Let's check out the profession changes. Hi, I'm Joanna, and I'm Eric, and we're going to talk about our plans for professions in Dragon. All right, what do you got? Professions have been a staple of World of Warcraft forever. And yes. And lots of really cool incremental updates. I'm really bad day. at them, but yes. But for Dragonflight, <laughs> we want to do something a bit different. We really want to rethink professions and figure out how to make them part of your identity as a player, if that's what you want. We really want to make sure that professions feel fun and relevant across all levels of gameplay. That brings us to our first update, something that we're calling Crafting Orders. 
crafting if you orders. Have something crafted for you, but you don't have the skill or the right profession to do it for yourself, you can have it crafted through a crafting order. You can basically browse any of the recipes that can be crafted, pick the one you want for yourself, and then you include some or all of the reagents needed for the recipe, including oh. ones that only you can get your hands on. Oh. You can find someone in person to do it right in front of you for you. Or you can also go to an NPC and using an auction house-like interface, send the order out. If you're doing this, you can pick, do you want to send the order to anyone, sort of a public order, or do you want to only send it to your guild? or to a specific other player. Maybe oh, it's a friend you know that is so really cool, well actually. You. You so you can like really order your stuff. Craft, oh. You're really the best at what you do. One of the coolest things about this That's actually is pretty the sweet. item you had crafted can also be soul bound. In the past, Ooh, you could only what? get your hands on Wait. crafted soul bound items by having that profession yourself. Now anyone can have them crafted for them, Ooh. which is really neat and really expands the number of items that we can provide. That oh are really my God. Because everyone can have them crafted. You can have soulbound really items cool from another crafter, profession you if you don't have base. it. People are going to come back oh. to you to get certain items. Maybe you're the best at making it, or you always throw That's a little something awesome. extra. That's awesome. You're also going to be leveling up your profession. It's going to be really great. So the first time you can do you work craft, orders. Oh yeah, you can do work orders and level things, your profession that way. Oh my god. Quality, both to your crafted. Items you don't even need the mats. If they rates. offer the mats quality in the work order, you could just make way. it for them, and then you'll level up your profession, making it for them. Oh my god, that's so cool. For instance, a potion. You know, that might mean a more powerful effect at a higher quality. And we're doing a lot of new things. Oh, okay, we interesting. Put a lot of work into it to make sure that the professions feel really special and unique. That's and awesome. Thing you might notice in the crafting UI that's new is the introduction of stats, specifically to your professions, both crafting and gathering. And this is Ooh, another wait, major what? input into stats for quality. your profession. Probably the biggest source of your ability to craft items at a higher quality is through crafting specializations. We've had crafting specializations in the past, as far back as original World of Warcraft. With Dragonflight, you can go out and earn specialization points in a whole bunch of different ways. So maybe okay, you find an book on a bookshelf in a ruin somewhere, or a hermit in a cave who can teach you a little bit about your profession. So let's say you're a blacksmith. Okay, interesting, uh, I like it. First you want to become an armor smith. And the more points you spend in armor smithing, the better you're gonna get at crafting all armor. This also means that if you That's specialize pretty cool, one way, actually. other people in your guild may specialize in a completely different path. So this means that your guild could have several top blacksmiths and everybody is providing something unique and valuable to the team, which is really cool. Now that yeah, that's actually pretty sweet, actually. Update. Like, it really is. That's pretty sweet. I'm, I would love to see all the stuff that we're going to be able to make and do. We're going to those, we're going to put them all in the main city of Valdraken, and, you know, you're going to go in there, and you're going to see all the different players crafting their items at their cool crafting tables. We're going to have yeah, crafting gonna tables, and you're going to craft like, the tables? All these alchemists what? huddled over here, and you're going to see all these blacksmiths over by the forge. There will be other players filling orders or grabbing orders. There's going to be a whole new crafting area. Oh, that's going to be sweet. Bringing more people together out in the open like a much more lively area yes it'll be so alive that. what i'm most excited about though is the gear we're introducing new types of gear for every profession Ooh. and when you go to oh. say mine a node you're actually going to just switch into that gear it's going to be really great oh you're really not have to carry that stuff around in your backpack anymore okay it's actually going to be dedicated slots for each each of your pieces oh of gear. but oh. i'm a numbers guy i love progressing all pieces of profession gear will have those special stats that we mentioned before on them and as you get your hands on better versions of the gear, you know, it's really gonna help you get better at your profession. I can't wait. Oh my Thank God, that's awesome. So we're gonna have gear for our professions now on our character, like gear slots that you can put gear into. So Until like for then, mining, you'll we'll have that mining off. gear. For jewelry crafting, you're the jewelry crafting. Oh, that's so, that is awesome. That is so cool. George. Uh, let me see. Let me turn this down. Oh my God! There's so much cool stuff. So, like for example, if you were a jewelry crafter, you would have this kind of gear in your jewelry crafting slot, which actually would make you make make better gems. You would make better, faster gems. I don't really know how it's gonna work, but that's pretty sweet. Same thing with a miner. You can mine and get gems, maybe even gold. I don't really know fully what's all here, but oh man, that would be that's awesome. That's pretty sweet. All right, so far, this is pretty cool. I like the new expansion. We're getting the whole Dragon Isles is coming back. I actually thought this guy was definitely dead. <laughs> We're getting the Dragon Isles. That's pretty cool. This is such a cool shot here. 
This is all cool. Definitely thumbnail material right there. Oh man, we're getting the new class. Oh, Dragon Race and the Invoker class. You can move and cast. Oh my God, that's so cool. That is so cool. Oh yeah, we're getting the whole, um. where is it, where is it? We're getting the whole dragon. Oh yeah, the crafty, uh, not the crafty, the uh, customization. Fire, the customization. Customization. The customization no, they're, is they're so awesome. good. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. And your humanoid. Oh, the humanoid form is so cool too. They both look so good. Oh. All right. All right. Options for both of them are. Oh, I, li I like that one. The white, the white looking humanoid. dragon. And the customization options for both of them are. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty sweet. That looks pretty sweet. All right. Uh, yeah, I can't wait for this expansion. There's a lot of cool stuff coming. They're bringing back my favorite thing. Where is it? Here it is. Here it is. Oh, talent tree is coming back. The talent tree, the talent system is coming back. I was really upset when they got rid of this, but I kind of just dealt with it. But now that it's coming back, I am so excited. You got points into your actual class, so the druid points for your druid class, and then you have your actual spec talent tree. So you have two different talent trees here. I love whenever you get a level. That's like one of the best feelings when you get a level and you can put one point into something and make yourself feel slightly stronger. Oh, it's so, it's so good. I'm glad they're bringing back the talent tree. The talent tree I've missed for the longest time and it's coming back. I'm just so excited for that. That's the best, that's the best news so far that they're bringing back the old talent tree system, but it's updated. Oh, it's so cool. That's the, that's the best news so far. All right, so far, uh, this whole update, all this stuff so far is pretty sweet. I'm excited for the dragon flights, the dragon isles. It's gonna be awesome, just based on the information we have so far. I can't wait.